I love coffee and I love names. So here we go. Who doesn't love coffee or at least caffeinated beverages? If you don't, we probably could never be friends. And let's not talk about decaf. Have you ever heard of the term sacrilegious? Whether you're interested in learning a little bit more about this lovely fruit or are like me and would totally use a coffee term for a kid or a pet, keep watching. The two major coffee beans are Robusto, which despite the word is actually a lesser quality coffee because it contains more caffeine, which makes it very bitter, and Arabica. Arabica means from Arabia because that's where the coffee shrub originated. Arabica coffee beans contribute 70% to the world coffee market. The coffee berries come from Rubia, a genus in the flowering plant family Rubiaceae, where coffee comes from. It is Latin for red. Espresso is Italian for pressed out. It's finely ground beans compacted down and brewed by having hot steam or boiling water forced through them, creating a thick, frothy liquid. Ristretto is the Italian word for restricted. It's half the amount of a normal espresso shot, but richer and harder to get. The latte, or cafe latte, is Italian for coffee and milk. To the inventors, I say, thanks a latte. Demitasse is French for half cup and is a cup where espresso or Turkish coffee is served. In Turkey, it's called finjan. Coffee in Europe is espresso. It's a serving for ants here in America, so the way to make it stretch is by adding water. Now you have a large cup to enjoy and the Cafe Americano was born. Americano sounds lovely and patriotic. A latte macchiato is when espresso is poured through a thick layer of foam and smooth steamed milk. A regular macchiato is just a little bit of foam the espresso is poured through. It makes a mark on the top, which is how it gets its name. Macchiato in Italian means stained. An espresso romano is espresso served with a slice of lemon that you can run along the rim of the cup, said to bring out the sweetness of the espresso. It sounds Italian, but doesn't actually have any link to Italy or Rome. The cappuccino comes from Italy and was named after the Friars Minor Cappuccini, which were friars belonging to the branch of the Franciscan Order and the Catholic Church that observed vows of poverty and austerity. They wear brown hoods and the cappuccino's color resembled them. In Italian, affogato means drowned. Affogato style means pouring espresso over the top of a drink or dessert. Reve is the American equivalent of the latte. Instead of steamed milk, it's made with steamed half and half goodness. Bravo, Reve. Ticino has no links to being Italian and is just equal parts espresso and milk. Tobio is an espresso drink that has equal parts espresso and coffee, which creates a balance between the brews. It beams up the coffee and makes the espresso less bitter. A delectable marriage that packs a punch. Ah, Zorro. Of course a Cafe Zorro would be double espresso added to hot water with a 1-1 ratio. You know Zorro. He could be anyone. I will ask them to write the name Elena on my cup. Mocha coffee is made by using a mocha pot, which is a stovetop espresso. It was created in Italy, and though similar to a percolator, it's not. It makes a creamy espresso and was the solution for Italians to be able to have espresso at home. Asking for a mocha today will get you something chocolatey, though. Ah, the Vienna. Add two shots of espresso to a mug and top full of whipped cream. It's a mug full of sweetness and charm. Just what everyone wants for a daughter. Kona is a delicious coffee that is one of the most expensive. It's grown on the slopes of Hawaii in the Kona district. Kona is a Hawaiian word meaning winter wind that brings rain and is strong. Speaking of Hawaii, the Hawaiian word for coffee is cope. Kahave, meaning wine of the bean, is the Turkish word for coffee where our English word came from. One interesting fact, in Turkey, it used to be that a woman had grounds for divorce if her husband didn't keep up on her coffee supply. Where we now say Java meaning coffee, it originally meant the place, Java, on the Indonesian island where some coffee comes from. One of the many possible meanings for the name Java is home. Another Indonesian coffee you might recognize, Sumatra, meaning island or land of gold. 
get creeped out together, shall we? Or are you the adventurous type and would love this? The toddy cat, aka the Asian palm civet, has helped to create extremely expensive coffee. The civets eat the berries, yum yum very nice. The civets digest the berries. The civets poop the berries. People collect the poo, remove the coffee seeds, put them in pretty bags and sell them. People buy them and brew them and drink them. Quick, before they come to their senses. An espresso corretto is espresso with alcohol added. That would describe Irish coffee. In the 1940s, Joe Sheridan added liquor to coffee one winter night to warm up American travelers. Irish coffee, as he called it, became a sensation. A few years later, Bailey's was introduced in 1974. This video would not be complete without tribute to the birthplace of coffee, Ethiopia. Ethiopia is located in the Horn of Africa. While coffee can be seen being used by royalty and celebs, its start was actually a very humble and earthy one. Legend has it that an Ethiopian goat farmer named Kalda was watching his goats eat certain berries and after eating them were very energetic. He tried them himself and noticed the energy boost. He shared it with the monk, who noticed it kept him awake through his evening prayers and the rest is history. Today, coffee is only second to oil as the most valuable traded commodity worldwide. How fitting that a most possible meaning is mixed. Today, in little old America, is the brewing polarization of two major coffee companies, Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts. Starbucks was named after the character in Moby Dick's Starbuck, drawing on the romance of the sea and the seafaring life of coffee traders. The first Starbucks opened in 1971 in Pike Place in Seattle, Washington. Starbucks is an ancient name meaning Great River or Star Deer. And Duncan, it was founded in 1950 in Quincy, Massachusetts, and whose mantra is American coffee, while Starbucks's mantra is coffee from around the world. So you see, there really should be no comparison. Oh look, it's coffee o'clock. I love the job, I job and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the job and me.